Hello, Les from Thailand here and welcome to my channel again. Today's video is going to be about how you can save money on the Thailand retirement visa. I did a video not so long ago about living on a thousand pounds a month here in Thailand. So click the link above and you'll be able to watch that video. So in the video I mentioned my recycle method and a few people have asked me about my recycle method and how it works. So there is a video about that but when I looked at it it's sort of outdated now it's maybe a year or so old so I'm going to do a an update of it and hopefully explain it better. So basically what I'm going to go through with this video is everything is 100% legal there's nothing corrupt about it there's nothing unlawful about it it's just using the system and providing the Thai immigration what they require there's no problems in, it, in that I don't do anything illegal in this country I'm legal and above board with everything that I do so I wouldn't suggest anything here that is illegal so follow me through this video and hopefully you can see where I'm coming from, how to do it and how you can save some money and sleep a little bit better on a night. So basically for a retirement visa, there are four things that you need to satisfy the immigration department. Now that's either 800,000 baht deposited into a bank and that has to maintain above 400,000 baht for the whole year. And if you go under the 400,000 baht, then your retirement visa is null and void. And also you need to have it topped up to the 800,000 baht, roughly for five months of the year. So that's 800,000 baht tied up for a long time. Also with the exchange rate fluctuating up and down, you can gain a little bit of money, you can lose a little bit of money on that 800,000. But there's a lot of people don't like to have the 800,000 baht tied up in the bank every month. And the second way is having an income from abroad of 65,000 baht a month coming in. And you need to show that comes in every single month. And the third way, which a lot of people use, is agencies. Now with an agency, you don't have to show 65,000 baht a month. You don't have to show 800,000 in the bank. The agency sorts all this out for you. So therefore, agencies have their little own methods on how they do it. But I'll come on to about the agencies a little bit later on. And my method is the fourth method, which is I call my recycle method. Like I say, it's 100% legal to do with it, follow the system. So we'll go through the immigration requirements. 800,000 baht we've already discussed. And the pension pension source of 65,000 baht a month. Now, the immigration want to see 65,000 baht a month coming from an overseas pension fund. Now, I asked the, the lady at the immigration department when we went there last year, why does it have to be from a pension source? And she explained, well, their view of pension source has been payable forever. So those people who retire on the rental income from their properties, the immigration don't like that. They don't view that as a sustainable income if the properties are sold or if you lose out of whatever reason. They don't class that as a pension source. They want to see a pension provider. Now again, I'll come on to how you can get around this. So as far as pension providers, the immigration, what they want to see from, do you realise that the amount of private pension providers that have gone bust, equitable life, 900,000 people were affected in the UK. In America, United Airlines, 123,000 people lost their private pension. That's $7.4 billion lost for private pensions. LTV Steel, in America, $2.1 billion lost. 83,000 people have lost their private pensions by investing the money into a private pension, all gone. So this is what I suggest. Start your own private pensions. Get a separate bank account, put it into a, a private pensions fund, call it whatever you want, but as long as it says private pension fund or something like that. And then every year you can send yourself a letter saying that this year your private pension has provided X many thousands of dollars, of euros, or pounds or Australian dollars. But as long as the letter heading says pensions fund. Now, 
Like, as I say, you could have invested in LTV Steel or United Airlines with regard to pensions. It's a pension letter. The only difference is, is that you've provided your own pension and the immigration want to see a letter heading saying private pension. So that's one way of getting round the private pensions letter that the immigration want to see. Now, because of privacy laws, they can't ring up the number that you'll provide on the letterhead to say, is this correct? Is this amount of money correct? Because of privacy laws, they're not allowed to do that. Immigration just wants to see a letter heading with private pensions on. Now, I, I get my private pension from the fire service that I used to work for in, in England. Now, the, the letter that they send me, I could do better on my own computer. It doesn't look professional at all. It just looks as if it's all made. But all the immigration are interested in is the bottom line figure, how much money I get from this pension provider every year. So in my mind, setting up your own private pension, what's against the law with that? You've funded your own pension. What's the difference between you funding your own pension or giving the money to a pension provider who may go bust and you could lose everything? That's my solution with regard to having a, a pension source that you can show in the immigration. So getting back to the recycle method, we've gone through the how you can show your pension source from your rental of houses or your investments. Now we'll go on to the providing the 65,000 baht a month into your bank account here in Thailand. So again, this is, this is designed for the people who are living on less than 65,000 baht a month. But to fulfill the requirements for immigration, you have to show 65,000 baht a month coming into your bank account. So a thousand pounds a month at present with exchange rates at 44 baht is an income of 44,000 baht a month. Obviously, that's 21,000 baht a month less than what the immigration are asking for. So to get over this, using my recycle method, you transfer 1,500 pounds over to your bank account here in Thailand. And then that, at today's rate, 44 is roughly 66,000 baht. So that's over the 65,000 baht that you need to show the immigration. Then what you do, basically, you send that £500 back to the UK. So you send that excess £500 back to the UK and then use that again the following month. So then the following month, you transfer £1,500 over to your bank account here in Thailand and then send the £500 back again every month. Now, you can do this every month. But if you want to save money, you just do it every quarter. So again, this is for those people that live on less than 65,000 baht a month and they either don't have the 65,000 baht a month, but they have to show 65,000 baht a month. You just use the recycle method, use the same amount of money. It's your money at the end of the day. There's nothing illegal about what you're doing. The government are asking for 65,000 baht a month. You're showing the 65,000 baht a month. It's up to you how much you live on. Like me, I'm I'm on a marriage visa, so I only have to show 40,000 baht a month coming in to my bank account here in Thailand. But when I was on a retirement visa, 65,000 baht a month. So if I was on a retirement visa, this is the thing that I would do because it saves you so much trouble. And again, this is better than using an agent. So if I was living here on 50,000 baht, then I'd still deposit 65,000 baht a month in my account and then send the other 15,000 baht home to England and then recycle the 15,000 baht every month. The benefits of the recycle system. Then, well, you don't have 800,000 baht tied up into your bank account for five months of the year that you can't touch and then you, you're not allowed to go below 400,000 baht. Uh, so therefore you, you don't have that money tied up. If you use an agent to get your visa, then you're going to pay agency fees. Now the initial fee to start it off is about 30,000 baht and then every year after that is between 15 and 20,000 baht per year. So that's an ongoing cost and the retirement visa itself only costs 1,900 baht. So if you're paying between 15 and 20,000 baht a year well then, that's quite a lot of money to pay agency fees. The other problem with using an agent is that I've heard it through the grapevine and it's been rumours now for the, for the past year or so, is that immigration, when you go in to do your 90-day report, can ask to see your bank book. 
especially on the first 90 day after you done your visa now this is supposedly a check that you've still got the 800,000 baht in the bank but for those people who've used an agent how embarrassing that would be if you went into immigration and they asked to see your bank book because obviously the the 800,000 has gone into your account and gone out the same day so if immigration ask for that it's an embarrassing situation now i know an agent that charges 500 baht to do the 90 day reporting because he uses this method to say to people that if you go to immigration and they ask to see your book then you've got to come back and see me and it may cause a few problems so for 500 baht the agent does their 90 day reporting to save that embarrassment now immigration can ask to see your bank book at any time whilst you've got your thai visa and this is the, the danger of using an agent. Now, I would say 90% of the agents could sort any problems like this out. But this is the problem if you use your agent because in reality, you don't have the 800,000 baht in your account and you don't maintain 400,000 baht in your account all year. This is the small problem that you've got using an agency. Whereas my recycle method, you could show the bank book any time to immigration because you have 65,000 baht a month coming into your account every month it's up to you how you spend your money if you want to send amount of money back to England or America or Australia doesn't matter you fulfill the agreement with Thai immigration that you are receiving 65,000 baht a month 100% legal above board and fulfills their criteria in the immigration you are showing an income of 65,000 baht a month. Showing your private pension, now we've already discussed that with regard to setting up your own private pension fund if you rely on house rental income and or investment income, you can show that as your own private pension. Just provide your own pension letter to say that you're getting an X amount of money every year. So how much money can you save using the recycle method compared to an agency fee? Well, an agency fee, let's say 18,000, that's between 15 and 20,000, which is the normal charge for an agency, 18,000. So agency fees at 18,000, but to today's rate, it's just over 400 pounds. So that's 400 pounds a year you're gonna have to pay all the time. Now, if you use the recycle method, and you say you send 500 pounds a month back to England, then that's gonna cost 13 pounds a month in fees. The fees are sending that little bit of extra money over here every year and then the fee to send it back to England or America or Australia or Europe, wherever you're gonna do. This works for everybody, not just for English, but for everybody. So I've done the maths with regard to the fees of sending the extra money over here in Thailand and sending it back to England. And roughly that's 150 pounds a year. That's if you send the money back every month. Now, of course you can save on that if you send the money back every two or three months. And the cheapest way of sending money over to here in Thailand I've found is transfer wise. Now transfer wise gives you a good deal with regard to sending your money over here to, to Thailand. And there are many methods of sending money back to your home country and the best way to send it back to your own country in the cheapest way is with D money now D money is based in Bangkok and you can send money back to nearly every country in the world so the fees D money charge is 250 baht per transaction which is whether you send 10,000 or whether you send 50,000 back home to your own country it's the same fee which is about six pounds so like I said if, if you do fewer transactions a year sending money back to your home country it's going to cost you less so I hope you can see the value of my recycle method and how you can use it to your advantage living over here in Thailand it's a hundred percent legal you're not breaking the law and as you can see you can save money from not having 800,000 baht tied up in a bank account you can save money by not using an agent of 400 pounds or so a year and you never have any problem showing the immigration your bank book which i think is one of the biggest scariest things at the minute for people using agents because of the rumors of the immigration going to be checking your bank book so i hope you found this interesting give it a thumbs up if you like it give it a thumbs down if you didn't like it leave the comments down below if you've got any questions send me an email down below 
and I'll answer to the best of my ability of what I can do. So from Les, retired and living the dream, until the next video, bye for now.